oh, I'm actually gonna do this review. Wander Over Yonder on Disney Channel, and it's actually a cartoon on Disney Channel this time, instead of some sub-channel no one has, like Disney XD or Disney NRA. It's a simple cartoon. Wander Over Yonder doesn't have an overarching plot or major development. It's character-driven. Lord Hater wants to rule the universe, Wander's blissfulness stops him, and his trusty steed Sylvia keeps Wander focused. And today, the one most worthy to stand here is none other than I, Lord Hater! Is that you? It's me, Wander! Are you here to watch the planets align too? Look! I even packed a picnic! There was an issue in pitching the show. You see, studios sometimes want a concept or location first, and characters second. Madagascar started as a jungle movie, while the characters were an afterthought. But creator Craig McCracken argued, Kids didn't love Spongebob because he was underwater. They love Spongebob because they love Spongebob. You know, they love Bugs Bunny because they love Bugs Bunny. They like Mickey Mouse because they like Mickey Mouse. He Craig basically told them, You executives are so stupid, you stupid freaking idiots. I hope your family knows how stupid you really are, you marketing school rejects. And it worked. When you're writing a story, you gotta know who your characters are first. Then you can put them in any situation you want. You could write the Looney Tunes or the Simpsons playing basketball and parodying horror movies, but you'll still know everyone's personality. Wow! What a neat little town! There's a little park and cute little buildings, games and rides and... Rotting in one of Lord Hater's cells for the rest of our lives. Sorry, Wander. I don't think so. Most of you may recognize Craig McCracken's other work on creating Fosters and Powerpuff Girls. I thought it was his wife, Lauren Foss, who made those shows. The visuals of Wander are reminiscent of those shows. Smooth curves and flows everywhere. I don't think there's a single sharp edge in this entire show. Oh my god, there it is, a sharp edge, oh my god. In the audio department, it's nothing but banjo and folk music. But the intro theme is what will really stick with you. Dare ye take the 10 hour challenge? I could see some people finding the song or Wander himself being annoying, but that's one plausible complaint. Wander doesn't fight evil, he just sorta of has fun and annoys it away. There's nothing mean-spirited about the show at all. Wander Over Yonder has so little substance, but it's just fun and simple, like a cartoon from the 40s. If you want more animation from Disney, on their site there are animated shorts for Gravity Falls to fill in time before next season, which should come out in... I don't know. Now remember, go to my Tumblr, links to my personal blog, with a Q&A the first Sunday every month. Now accepting P.O. Box donations and looking for these things. And if you notice, I'm almost at YouTube Video 100. What is it gonna be? Is it gonna be a disappointment? You guessed it! 